Welcome, welcome back. I need at a knee help at c squared. In this example, we're going to find the magnitude and the direction angle of the vector. So my suggestion all the time is to do a sketch. Okay, so we have the vector 3 and 4. That means 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. This vector is in quadrant 1. Okay, so how do we find the magnitude of this vector? I'm going to call it V or U. You can call it whatever you want. We're going to do square root of a square plus b square, where a is 3 and b is 4. So we have square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, and will be square root of 25, right? So the absolute, I'm sorry, the magnitude of a vector v is going to be 5. And now let's go to look to the second part. Okay, so you see that's the thing I use it. Okay, the direction angle I said here is the angle that makes with the positive x-axis. So it's this guy. And now let's take a look to this triangle. This is 3, this is 4, and this is 5, right? That is the magnitude of the vector. So you have traces. It's up to you what trigonometric function you use to find this angle. I'll call it theta. Okay, so let's say you're going to use uh, cosine. Cosine of theta, right? Cosine of theta equals adjacent. Adjacent will be 3 over 5. So theta will be the inverse of cosine, r cosine, right, of 3 fifths. So we're going to grab a calculator here. We're going to put that in the calculator. And I have, I'm going to approximate to the nearest stand. 53.1 degree. That is how much the direction angle is, right? And by the way, you can try any other trigonometric function for finding that angle. Just be careful because whenever the vector is in other quadrant 2, 3, and 4, or 4, you need to uh, change a little bit the technique. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.